Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a completely custom WooCommerce shopping cart page using Breakdance. So here I am on the WooCommerce cart page, and this is just a default cart page from Breakdance. I haven't actually set anything up at all. This is just how it looks by default. Designed to convert, looks beautiful. Cart totals on the right instead of on the bottom, which is the WooCommerce default, which is less good. But if you do want to customize this further, Breakdance makes it easy. So let's go into Breakdance. So I'll go to Breakdance and I will hit open cart. This will just open the cart page in the WordPress admin. And then to customize this in Breakdance, I will hit edit in Breakdance. Here I am inside of Breakdance and I'm going to add a cart page element to my page. And by default, that is just going to look like what we saw previously, the default Breakdance WooCommerce cart. But let's say I want to customize this a little bit. Well, first, I always recommend using global styles as much as possible to get a consistent look. And only when you've run out of options in the global styles, do you go into the element itself to make further customizations. For example, if you want to customize these link and button colors with other builders, you typically have to do it in the element itself. And then for your checkout page, you got to do it again. And for your shop page, you got to do it again. And for your product page, you got to do it again. In breakdance, you just want to go to global settings, WooCommerce, colors, set your brand color in one place. And now, you know, your cart is going to be purple as its primary color, and so will all your other pages. But let's say you do want to go further than the global settings allow, and you want to actually make some specific customizations to this cart page element. Well, let's take a look at what we can do. We can adjust the layout. For example, we could make this cart vertical. I wouldn't recommend it unless you had a more narrow section layout. For example, if you had a custom width, something like this, then it might make sense. But generally for conversions, I do recommend leaving it on the default. Uh, it works better. Uh, you can do totals position. You could put the totals uh, bottom left, bottom right, top left if you wanted. For the cart contents, you can customize the styles. A lot of these options are already inheriting from the global settings though. So only use these if you want to go beyond what is offered by the global settings. Let's say we wanted to add a white background with a shadow to this totals, for example. We go to totals and let's go to wrapper. We will add a white background and let's go to borders. Let's add a shadow behind those totals. Let's give it a border radius of 10 pixels and let's add some padding. Let's go with uh, 25 pixels of padding. And there we go. Now we have our floating totals effect. If you want to add additional elements to this page, you could do that as well. For example, maybe you wanted to create some kind of money back guarantee section or just display a notice to the user that says um, free shipping until midnight. You could do that right here. All right. That is how to customize the cart page using Breakdance. Thank you very much for watching.